just from a body shot. See if he has one of those moments in him tonight. And Max, you mentioned that this feels like a throwback to an old-time HBO fight. For you, here's one more reason we haven't even mentioned so far. Vanis Martirosian is promoted by Don King. <laughs> it's hard to find that in the sport yet, or, or, or still at this hour. But here it is, a Don King promoted fighter in against Gennady Golovkin. Martirosian flashing a nice jab. Throwing some good combinations already. Sticking the jab in Golovkin's mouth. Golovkin lands the left hook. Oh, my Russ is hurting. Golovkin known for his scary power in both hands and would like to remind fans of that after his last couple fights. That's what happens again when you fight top fighters like Daniel Jacobs and Canelo Alvarez. Martirosian considered a, a, a level below that. Yeah, he thought a good jab already here though, Max. Popovic could let his head back a couple times. Gennady landed a good hook on him, popping his head back one time. So we're getting some good exchanges in early. The bad thing for Bunnies is that that 24 month layoff is going to tear early. Later in the fight, he'll get back comfortable and get in position. Well, Martin Rosen has been in the gym, Roy, and he says he's been in the gym for the last 17 months fairly continuously. But when you have not been in a real fight for a long time, almost two years in his instance, stop, stop. are you more susceptible to power time. shots? Much more susceptible because you're not used to that movement and having that crowd there. The crowd drains so much energy from a fighter, as most real fighters know. Secondly, when you haven't been in there, the little things, the timing, the making a guy miss by a hairline, I mean, it's very difficult to do because you don't know that Dennis. feeling until you get out there and have it again. They say the last thing to leave a fighter is his punch. But we've also seen fighters age and lose that knockout snap. Well, you know, think Vanish. Triple G hey, still stop. has that vaunted power? Well, Triple G does. And Max, I, I meant to tell you a little earlier, too. We always talk about Triple G being 36 years old, but Triple G is an elite fighter. An elite fighter at 36 is not a bad fighter still. Floyd Mayweather will still dominate people at 36 years old. It's anyway, changed over the last decade or of so. Of course it has. So 36 is not an old fighter, especially when you haven't taken a lot of punishment. And for those who we haven't seen him before, we talk about Triple G's power. Max has made the point that you expect to see knockout power from Triple G. But CompuBox counts him as the most prolific jabber in boxing. He lands more than 10 jabs per round. Nobody else in boxing has done that. And he's landed 14 to sound up. I think Barnes just hurt uh, Glupkin a little bit. I agree, and he and he hit him with a good right hand counter before he landed the left, followed by a good jab. Yes. Glupkin landed 15 jabs on the round, but only one hard power shot. Martirosian hit him in the mouth with a right hand. That might have been the best punch of the round. Stop looking for one. Let's get into a groove going, okay? Little jab, little thing. You're not feigning it. You know what you're going to do? You're going to start moving with that head, being more comfortable, being smart, go tight on your defense, okay, D? Everything's working. Do what you're doing. You're doing everything good, but he's going to start jabbing more because he's not—he's missing his right hand. You're being smart. Very good. Move a little. Did you see Bunnies come in with a jab, a right hand, and Triple G thought it was over. Then all of a sudden, bing, there goes another jab, and that's what knocked him off balance because it's the punches that you're not ready for. Look at Triple G's eyes. He said, oh, snap, this guy can punch. Yeah, I thought it was the right Number hand two, that had stunned him a little bit, but actually it was Number the follow-up left. Bonus Martirosian came up in boxing in Southern California. A lot of Mexican fighters, a lot of gym wars. And he thinks he's uniquely, he thinks he's uniquely prepared for Golovkin's Mexican style, but those are some monsters. Uppercut by Golovkin, and Martin grabs and holds on. That hurt it really bad, though, Jim. That uppercut hurt really bad. That was a good shot. He held on to Golovkin long enough to avoid being called for a knockdown, even though his knee hit the canvas. Jack Reese ruled it a throw by Golovkin. And Jim, he's too, he's kind of too uh, slow right now to get out of the way of Triple G's big punches. So if Triple G turns it up right now, he can get him out before Bunnage gets ready. And he better do that because Bunnage is throwing some really big shots, but the ring rust is still really affecting him right now. Bonnage is not reacting like a scared fighter. He's reacting like a fighter who's seen this all before. And that's not Stop, good, Max. 
Well, because not, Triple not, G still has that back, concussive right? power. That's what I'm saying. That's not good because you need to be a fighter that acts like you don't want no part of this in the early rounds while he's powerful until you get used to seeing the timing of his punches. Then you can act like it doesn't really matter. Right now, it does matter because if he catches you crisp, it's going to be a problem. You heard Abel Sanchez telling Golovkin between rounds, you're a little tight, and it does look that way. And so Golovkin's got a lot of weight on his shoulders, a lot of pressure to deal with, a lot of outside the ring stuff. And he gets hit with a right hand again by Marta Rosier. Oh, oh, hard left hook by Golovkin. Right hand by Golovkin. Another left. Hard left hook. Down goes Marta Rosier. And he collapses onto his face. As we pick up the count. Seven. Eight. I would have got disqualified for that. Roy is not wrong about that. I would have got disqualified. I don't think Triple G should be disqualified for that, but that was exactly like the punch that you got disqualified for. Triple G, in his in his desire to score the knockout, was, uh, if anything, overzealous with a fighter on his knees in front of him and landed a shot when Monterosian was technically already down. And that may have been the finishing shot. Pretty close. I'll have to look at the replay to see whether Martirosian actually was on the canvas or was in the process of going down. I, I wouldn't DQ a fighter for that, nor should you have been DQ'd. I agree. But that is, but technically, I believe he hit him when he was down. We'll see. Either way, he's got a new knockout streak. One. Here's another look. Once again, the uppercut that caused the problems early, hit him right on the chin with a beautiful uppercut. Doesn't get any better than that, Jim. Now you see him coming in for the attack. Overhand right over the top, which finally had got caught with several times before. And he comes back with a jab, another jab, a good jab to set up the right hand again. Another great shot. Followed by tap right hand, a big left hook, and that pretty much finished Bunnies right there. Followed by right hand, but Bunnies was out at that point. Another hook, boom, and now Bunnies is done. And there's a right hand, he's down right there on the road. And here's a, well, it was, he was going down, so it wasn't that bad. I don't think his knee had reached the canvas, but the glove may have. Technically, he's down the moment that the glove touches the canvas. Yeah, let's look at it again. Or down. That's right. And I think the ropes are holding him up. But guys, that was a clean knockout, even if it was a little, um, uh, uh, a little messy at the end. That I don't. That would never, I think, rise to the level of DQ if it's called properly. I totally well, agree. And you've got an excellent referee in there to make the call. Jack Reese is one of the very best. And here's Reese as the count reaches nine, ten, and he waves it off. Golovkin seems to let out a little air, relaxing finally after all the, the turmoil 